This video shows a breaker failure demonstration. This video is the fourth in this series. Please watch video one for an explanation of the demo and video two to understand the role of each Triangle Microworks product in the demo. This slide shows an overview of the demo. You may print a copy of this overview for reference while watching the video by downloading a PDF copy from the link provided. In this demo, DTM simulates six IEC 61850 servers defined in the substation SCD file. In addition, we're using DTM as an IEC 61850 client to monitor the network status directly and as a DNP3 master obtaining data from the IEDs through the SCADA data gateway. For the breaker failure simulation portion of the demo, a trip can be initiated remotely using a goose PIOC.op message. The breaker attempts to trip and simulates a breaker failure. It then broadcasts a goose breaker failure message, or rbrf.opx equals true. Upon receipt of this goose breaker failure message, each of the other devices will trip their breaker. Anvil, the server component of the 61850 test suite, simulates an IEC 61850 server. Two Texas Instruments BeagleBone boards running the Triangle Microworks IEC 61850 source code library each simulate two additional breakers. If we look at each of the device displays in DTM, we see that the breakers are closed, as indicated by a red breaker state. On the GE device, the front panel shows the closed breaker and none of the fault indicators are lit. In the single line diagram, Green indicates the breaker is open, and red indicates the breaker is closed. A script on each server will set the current to a base value plus a random load component if the breaker is closed. These values are being sent by the simulated devices and are being read by IEC 61850 clients in DTM, which uses Insight to update the display. Now I'll send the PIOC reset goose message to close the breaker and clear test mode in each device. Let's look at the Goose report log for DTM. This report shows the individual external references that were received in a Goose message by each simulated device. Here I filter the log to only show data attributes with a value of true, and we can see that each of the simulated devices received the broadcast message. Now I'm going to clear the Goose report log and trip the Schweitzer breaker in failure mode. As I do, we'll hear a sound file play as each of the breakers trip. I'm going to pause the logic analyzer so that we can see the state change for each of the breakers being simulated in DTM. Now let's take a look at the front panel displays. Notice they all show the breaker has opened except for the Schweitzer display which shows the breaker failure status. These front panel updates are driven by Insight, the graphing component available with DTM, the 61850 test suite, IRON, our ICCP TASI2 test tool, the communication protocol test harness, and the SCADA data gateway. The breaker status and breaker failure indications reflect the values of the data attributes they are mapped to in the IEC 61850 object model. A server display will typically reflect the data attributes that are sent by IEC 61850, and a client display will reflect data attributes that were received by IEC 61850. Note the GE device, which uses an image of the actual device. Insight controls and displays have been overlaid on this image. As the data attribute in the IEC 61850 object model is updated, the corresponding Insight display element is updated, providing a simulation of the device's display. Note that the elements include the breaker status, which is now shown as open, and a fault indicator, which correctly shows that the fault originated with the Schweitzer device. If we pause this script, we can edit the display, and we can see that the various display objects are simply insight elements overlaid on top of the image of the device. For example, here we have a clear or transparent insight button that has been overlaid on top of the image of the button on the front panel. Looking at the single line diagram, which shows the IEC 61850 data received by the client, we see that it is updated to show that each of the simulated breakers has tripped, except for the Schweitzer relay, which is showing a fault. Remember that the two BeagleBone boards in this demo subscribe to the same rbrf.opx goose messages, but use different in-adder assignments in the extref statements in the IED section of the SCD file to trip different breakers. 
As expected, the single line diagram shows that one breaker on each beagle bone has tripped and that they tripped different breakers. Notice the current is now shown as zero for each open breaker. The logic analyzer shows the state changes. If we look at the logic analyzer, we can see that each of the simulated breakers has changed state. This is useful for seeing the relative timing of signals in the simulation. Looking at the Goose report log in DTM, we can see that each of the simulated breakers received the RBRF Goose message from the simulated Schweitzer device. Now let's clear the Goose report log again, re-enable the logic analyzer, and reset the breakers. As we do, we'll see each of the breakers reclose. Once again, we can see the current values being updated as they simulate the variation from a random load on a base value.